Uh, hello friends, this is Saim Hassan and uh, we're going to s learn how to make a map in uh, for the Delta Force Black Hawk Down Team Cyber. So let's get started. This is uh, here, this is the main menu and under the file you can see clear button uh, you can clear anything uh, the object if you're creating something in the map and you want to remove everything you can just clear the map by this button and then the next button is open and uh, this button is used to open the already saved uh, maps or or the things uh, that you have uh, already saved on your hard drive if you have saved a map, for example, I have a map here that bad badass killer or something. Uh, you just want to load that. You can load this map like this. Okay. Anyway, this is not uh, what we're going to do. We're going to create our own map. So uh, the next is save as when you we create a map, we want to save that. So and export to play in Delta Force and uh, save and export and. This all these all things are actually used uh, when we are going to start creating a map or when we have finished making making a map. So the next button is edit. When we're uh, editing the map, we are going to need these buttons: redo, undo, cut, copy, paste, delete. Insert mode is used to insert objects like buildings and uh, trees and uh, anything that that you want. Just it's it's uh, not so complicated. We'll be through. We'll get through it. And next is uh, this uh, is section under the edit, under the uh, insert mode, uh, the brief general information groups, etc. Th this section is actually used uh, to in in input the basic information about the map, like a briefing and general information about the map, and uh, area triggers, waypoints, events, layers, names, global replace, available weapon loadouts. And the next is view, view by layer, view by side. Uh, it depends when we uh, will be working. If we uh, if we need this, I'll be using these things. And next is dial folder, and it's a good thing. Uh, we'll work on it later. And the next is info. It's just about the data for Black Hack Down. Well, so uh, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to tell the computer. Uh, the information, the basic information about the map. So let's get started. We need to go to the edit menu, go to general information. Okay, in general information, we need to give it a mission name. I'm going to name this mission um, Mission Cats. Okay, and uh, the mission designer is, I'm gonna put, put a name here like major and uh, mission terrian I'm going to select any terrian you can select there's a list of terrians different terrians you can select any any you anyone any of these you like whatever you like you can select so uh, for now I'm just going to select a flat terrian so it will be easy for you to understand uh, well I think I'm going to select something else uh, so we can learn some other things too um, maybe mission one three okay okay and then the next thing is mission tiles you'll uh, actually you will learn these things these tiles uh, once you play around with these uh, these are actually different types of uh, uh, maps or uh, the you know textures of the roads uh, etc so you can select any of these you can uh, uh, change these things actually later if you want there's no problem you can change all right the next thing uh, player type you want to actually you want to change the player type if you want uh, the first thing is delta force when we play the game we see delta force the basic uh, clothes the basic uniform of the player is uh, actually uh, the player type delta force and if we want to change the looks uh, not of the player but of the clothes and uh, the looks of the player you can change the looks by ranger sas delta force or 10th mountain whatever you want it depends on you so for now i'm just going to use uh, delta force and uh, here's map type what type of map you want to create well i'm going to create you can actually create a single map with multiple types i mean your map can be a death match as well as a team deathmatch as well as a uh, team king of the hill 
king of the hill as well as capture the flag flag ball search and destroy attack and defend and cooperative at the same time well you have to work a little bit on these things uh, but uh, for now we are going to create a t single death match so uh, we will be creating a king of the hill team death match and some others later on okay now we have a map type which is death match and um, Alright, so let's move to the next section. Here is win conditions. If you want to put any conditions to win, you can put the conditions here. Just click on the checkbox here. Well, for now, but we are not going to um, put any conditions or loss conditions yet. Uh, we'll see these things later. Let's see the next tab, next section here. The mission overrides. The water level here is... Uh, in brackets you can see it's telling us whatever value we're going to put here is going to be multiplied by 0.5 m meters so uh, let's see I'm going to hit ok I'm not going to put any value here yet but I'm going to hit ok now okay here is a map you can see these tiles these tiles are actually very huge and uh, let's zoom in a little bit to zoom in you can use actually uh, the num uh, the section, the right section of the keypad or of your keyboard, uh, the digits actually. You can use F, uh, sorry, nine on your keyboard to zoom in, and six on your keyboard to move right, and four to move left, and uh, three to move up, and nine to zoom in. All right, and eight to move up, two to move down. Just use these arrow keys. I mean, it's easy. It's not so difficult. You'll, you'll understand these things. Okay, now we can see a map, and uh, this is actually, I can see a texture here. I'm not sure where the elevation is much higher, and what is the level of elevations, or the heights of the ground. I need to know these things before I start drawing, or putting buildings, or anything in the map. So, before we uh, start inserting buildings, or anything in the map, uh, we need to know what the what place in this area has a zero elevation or what is the elevation so to do this we um, need to actually go to wireframe mode so uh, here you can see the C button and with the C button you can see a H button and if you hit H button we can now see a uh, uh, the map in green view anyways this rectangle this green rectangle means this is our safe area we should actually work in this area all right so I hit the D key and the next button here uh, right after the H hit the D once we hit the D we can see some areas are totally black and some are a little bit grayish so uh, uh, here actually when we zoom in let me show you this black area has actually zero elevation this area is safe to draw buildings or anything vehicles choppers whatever you want to, to create it's this the black area is actually safe there is zero elevation your building is not going to get uh, you know um, uh, struck into the mountain you know like uh, uh, that looks ever very bad so you always want to put your buildings or whatever you want to create on the zero elevation all right you can also create anywhere you want that doesn't matter but uh, it's safe actually the buildings look more good and appropriate when you put them on a total black area so let's see Alright, we are going to draw a building here, and uh, before we draw, let me tell you one more thing. Here, uh, this in this section, grid, under the grid section, we can see the view. Right next to the view, there is a positive and a negative button. What do these buttons mean? Let's see, uh, we are going to draw, um, uh, put some objects in here, and I'm going to tell you what this is actually okay so I'm going to zoom somewhere in the map I'm going to zoom here so let's zoom here okay here I'm going to draw a building so to draw the building just go to the edit menu here and go to the insert mode 
no the insert mood is checked and uh, we are in insert mood we can insert as many things that we want as we want so uh, let's start creating the objects in this in the map so uh, let's click anywhere wherever you want to create an object where you want to create an object just click there and I want to create an object here somewhere maybe here so uh, just left click here and this pops up a window okay now uh, this windows has uh, several different uh, types of objects like um, foliage decorations people buildings vehicle objects power-ups markers and mad helpers let's start creating but uh, uh, start creating the, some decorations or maybe buildings let's start by decorations click on the decorations and click anywhere uh, select anything from the list the first thing we have here is fence with 16 meter uh, of length so the next wall is 16 meter stone wall and the next is two coach you can check these things I mean there's a huge list whatever you want to put in the map you can select from the list but for now we are going to put some walls let's draw this wall 16 meter stone wall piece I'm going to put this wall and you can see the wall is here once I click OK let's zoom in here now what do this section do this plus and negative uh, 5 12 meter once I click six on the keyboard to move right it snaps it snaps and once I put I mean wherever I navigate on the viewport it snaps and I don't want a huge snap like that I cannot put uh, sometimes we need to snap to a very lower value so it's not very useful to uh, uh, you know use 512 meter for snapping when you're creating a map so let's decrease the value I'm going to do it maybe 64 meter or maybe 30 meter now when we zoom out we can see the grid on the map now when I move F6 uh, sorry the 6 button it snaps and it's moving very slowly which is good when we are working after zooming in a lot so here we have our wall now right click here on the anywhere in the windows and uh, uncheck the insert mode so so you can select the the wall and work on it I'm going to deselect the insert mode now we can select the wall click on the wall okay and hit M key on your keyboard you can move the wall hit M key and move the mouse over wherever you want to put the wall you can move once you hit select an object once you select the object and hit M key on your keyboard the object actually moves with the mouse wherever you take your mouse the object follows it so hit M on your keyboard and I'm going to move this object here okay now I need a copy of this wall to take a copy of this wall select the object hit control C and hit control V now we have another copy of the object place it anywhere in the scene wherever you want to place that no we have a copy of the object no we want to rotate this object and to rotate that right click on the object click on group rotate this pops up a windows now here you can play around with these things I'm going to move this 90 up okay and then move it and place it somewhere here maybe we want to zoom in a little bit more so we can see what we're doing here okay now hit M on your keyboard and I'm going to place this wall and attach it with the other wall like something wherever you want to attach it doesn't matter just don't uh, give it gap so here we have an, our object now we have two walls here I want to take another copy control C and then control V after selecting the object where is it oh my oops just a second okay select control C control V and here we are going to place the copy of our next wall okay I want this wall this section of the wall here for this I'm going to actually rotate that again so let's rotate that 180 back move and place it here okay and now I want to actually create uh, let's just put another wall let's copy another wall 
Control C, Control V, right click, group rotate, rotate that 180 and place that here. Okay, now we have a boundary wall and our player will not be able to get out of this area. Okay, now let's start creating something else. I want to create something between these uh, this rectangle so we can actually divide the area, the middle area, the mid area of this rectangle. So let's start uh, by inserting some more objects. Right click anywhere on the viewport, select insert mode and click wherever you want to place the object. Let's place something else now. I'm going to place something like, um, we are in uh, decorations by the way. And let's move down, down, down. These rocks are very good when you're sniping. You know, I love hiding in these rocks. Let's put these barrels stacked, whatever these things are called. Okay, so uh, let's uh, put these somewhere here, maybe. Let's take a copy, put this here, rotate a little bit so they don't look like uh, they're just copied and pasted in the scene all right so um, maybe somewhere here okay let's uh, put something else here now maybe a car let's put this here okay and now we have some objects in our scene okay um, now we need to define positions of our uh, uh, players so to define the positions of our players we need to tell the computer where our player is going to take birth so let's uh, in go to insert mood again and um, click anywhere I want my blue team to born somewhere maybe here here all right so click here go to the objects markers go to the markers actually I forgot I created these maps almost five months ago <laughs> okay so uh, let's go to markers and under the markers let's go we are actually creating the deathmatch for now so let's select the deathmatch player start marker hit ok here is our first marker and I want to put another marker here I want to put another marker here here and here one more thing these markers actually work um, with a little bit of uh, with some conditions we uh, actually if if there are three players joining the game and you if you make five markers of deathmatch and three players join the game only three what would happen uh, one player is going to born somewhere wherever maybe somewhere here or maybe here or here the condition is that if one player comes here the computer and when the next player joins uh, if there are three players you born here for example and after you your friend is joining the game and when he will join the game computer is actually going to put him uh, to a distance uh, maximum far than your location so uh, if you are if your player is coming starting the game from this point the next player is going to come somewhere here and uh, once th these two players join the game the third player is actually going to come somewhere maybe here or maybe here because both are uh, uh, look a little bit far then from the both locations so the third player would come here or maybe here and if during the gameplay all of your friends or the three players are gathered at the same place and one of them dies he's not gonna born here right close to them he will not born here he's going to take birth maximum distance maybe somewhere here right it's not actually always maximum but it's definitely not going to born somewhere here so there's one more trick I'm going to tell you you can use this trick to trap your friends sometimes we used to do this trick to uh, you know trap our friends we create a you know uh, 
a marker and then what we do we create very limited markers so for example I create we have five markers here five players can join the game you can put limits I mean infinite players can also join the game if uh, you change the programming I think 64 or maybe I think 120 players may join the game by default anyways what you want to do if you want to trap somebody you have to uh, you know uh, take your player at the marker if you know where the marker is if you know the marker is here you want to stand here tell your other friend to stand here and your other friend to stand here and your other friend to stand here and you four friends have to make a commitment not to kill each other all right so when you will kill the fifth one he is always going to take birth at this point just because every point has a player near to them this is the farthest place uh, from every every player because this marker you are close to this marker your friend is close to this marker your other friend is close to this marker and every marker is uh, has a player near to them this marker is going to be the far more far place for the computer to generate the player anyways no we are going to test this map let's go to save hit save as I'm going to save this somewhere under F and um, somewhere game here I want to save the map uh, my maps alright here we want to save this I want to save this as um, let's say a test okay let's say this uh, cat mission cat mission cat mission cat okay let's save this now once you save the map actually you are not going to see the map in the game let's let me show you I'm going to start the Delta Force here just for demonstrations mm, why is it not opening okay here we have the game if you can see I'm not sure if the if the software is still you know recording the game let's go to the single player mode uh, that was actually deathmatch let's go to the multiplayer mode go to the host and under the deathmatch here the name was cat something like cat we don't have this map here see we don't have the map here so to put the map here what we need to do is uh, we need to save the map in the directory of Delta Force. So uh, this was just a copy, uh, so we don't lose the game. Let's go to the game. Go to Delta Force in this directory. We're going to save this as um, Mission Cat. Copy this name. We're going to need this again. Save this and then export that. You need to export the map to play that. So just click on Save and Export. The mission saved and exported successfully. Let's export the binary mission. Go here, and here you want to put the name Mission Cat. Same name again, maybe. All right. So hit save. You want to replace? Yes, we want to replace. Okay. Now we are going to see the map in Delta Force. Well, uh, once we see the map, I'm going to stop the video for a moment, and I'm going to start the video recording again. So we can divide the I will not have to you know edit the video okay under the deathmatch let's find our map let's find our map and we don't have our map here oops let me check something we're missing something there um, edit General information, mission cats, delta force, okay, deathmatch, everything's okay. Um, let's save the map again. Mission cat, save, yes. And let's export binary mission here. Mission cats. Remove the dot MIS actually. You don't want to put this here. This is BMS. 
binary mission so remove uh, uh, do not uh, give it the name dot uh, what was that mis all right so just give it name mission underscore cat so i'm going to save that again no let's try that it should work now let's open that again go to multiplayer under the lan ip go to the host in the deathmatch here we are going to see your map here is it mission cats let's play that to see how it looks okay so it's taking so much time just because the recording is in progress so here is our player and here's our map all right this is what we just created okay you can see we created the zero um, you know elevation we created the objects on zero elevation so you can see there are some elevations that is good to place some towers or something there so uh, I'm gonna stop the video for now and we're going to start the video again and uh, we're going to create a team deathmatch now so um, and also change the environment let's put some maybe um, come on can you climb up what happened all right okay here okay we're going to uh, draw some water and also uh, change the environment daytime and uh, we're going to make it a team deathmatch now so let's hit close that and stop the video for a moment and uh, I'll be back thank you for watching I hope you're enjoying the tutorial so let's stop that